Hi, historical knowledge of mathematics helps to impact the significance of mathematics ideas and gives a new perspective to research and teaching. This historical approach in teaching is an asset for attainment of objectives of both learning and teaching. Now, I am going to educate you about the contributions of Pythagoras in mathematics. Pythagoras was a great mathematician born on 569 BC in Samos, Ionia. His father was Minas Karas, a merchant from Tyre, and his mother Pythias, a native of Samos. He is often described as the first pure mathematician who has contributed immensely towards the development of mathematics. He died 475 BC. He is the father of numbers. Pythagoras was born around the year 500 BC on the Greek island of Samos. As an adult, he moved to an island off of the south of Italy called Crotone. Here he was regarded as a great philosopher and religious leader. Pythagoras is most famous for proving the Pythagorean theorem, also known as a squared plus b squared equals c squared, although it should be noted that this equation was being used as early as the year 2000 BC by the Sumerians. Pythagoras was able to prove that it would always be true. Now that you know a little bit about the history, let's take a look at how it works. You can start by drawing a right triangle. That is one where two of the sides come together to form a right angle. In our example, side A is 4 units long. This means A squared will be equal to 16 square units. Next, we'll draw side B. This side will be 3 units long, making B squared equal to 9 square units. It's important to notice that these two sides come together to form a right angle, so they are called the legs. Now that we know that A squared equals 16 and B squared equals 9, we can add them together and find that in this example, C squared is equal to 25 square units. Here, we can take the square root of 25 and find that side C, also known as the hypotenuse, is equal to 5. Properties of number, triangle and square numbers. 
Pythagoras studied properties of numbers which would be familiar to mathematicians such as today, even and odd numbers, triangle numbers, etc. However, the Pythagoras numbers had personalities which we hardly recognize as mathematics today. Personality of numbers. Each number had its own personality, masculine or feminine, perfect or incomplete, beautiful or ugly. This feeling modern mathematics has deliberately eliminated, but we still find out times of its fiction and poetry. Masculine or feminine. His followers said that odd numbers was masculine gender and even number was feminine gender. The number one was the mother of all numbers. The number five was the symbol of marriage sermon. Ten was very best number. It contains in itself the first four integers one, two, three, and four. And this return in dot notations form the f of a triangle add number. He discovered that any add number, say 2n plus 1, can be expressed as the difference of two squares. 2n plus 1 is equal to n plus 1 the whole square minus n square. Theorems of Pythagoras. The list of theorems attributed to Pythagoras or rather more generally to Pythagoras are properties of triangle. The sum of the angle of a triangle is equal to two right angles, polygon angles. Also, the Pythagoras knew the generalizations which states that polygon with n sides has sum of integers angles 2n minus 4 right angles and sum of exterior angles equal to 4 right angle. Pythagoras theorem For a right angle triangle, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. We should not hear the proof that the Pythagoras the square of the hypotenuse would certainly not be thought of as number of multiple by itself, but rather as a geometrical squares is equal to the third square means that the two squares could be cut up and reassembled to the form of square identical to the third square. That means AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. No sick. Pythagoras believed that all relations could be reduced to number of relations. Pythagoras noticed that vibrating strings produces harmonic strengths when the ratios of the strings are whole numbers and the thesis ratios could be extended to other instruments. In fact, Pythagoras made remarkable contributions to the mathematical theory of music. Pythagoras made useful investigations into music and began the theory of music by measuring the chord of the lyre, a musical instrument. Pythagorean tuning, how the relationship between the musical notes be expressed in mathematical equations. In the geometry, construction of figures of given area and geometrical algebra, for example, they, they solved equations such as a minus x is equal to x square by geometrical means. The five regular solids, it is thought that Pythagoras himself knew how to construct the first three, but it's unlikely that he would have known how to construct the other two. He is construct the polygon equivalent to one given polygon and similar to another and could construct the five regular polygon. Mensuration. Pythagoras studied the properties of area and volumes and he was the first to prove that the circle contains a greater area than any plane figure with the same perimeter while the sphere contains greater volume than any other shapes bounded by the same surface. In solid geometry, Pythagoras called sphere the most perfect of all solids. He knew that there are five regular solids which lie exactly in a sphere, namely tetrahedron, hexahedron, octahedron, dedicatron, and isoketron. Many mathematical terms like parabola, lying side by side ellipse, etc., can be attributed to Pythagoras. The discovery of irrations. This is certainly attributed to the Pythagoras, but it does seem unlikely to have been due Pythagoras himself. Astronomy. In astronomy, Pythagoras thought that the earth was the sphere at the center of the universe. He also recognized that the orbit of the moon was inclined to the equator of the earth. And he was one of the first to realize that Venus as an evening star was the same planet as Venus as a morning star. 
historical background of mathematics can promote the class work to greater coherence and produce a more effective course study. History of mathematics helps to avoid compartmentalizations in teaching and encourages reading and other desirable habits. I hope that all of us who are aware of the contributions of Pythagoras in different branches of mathematics. Thank you.